Tell me how you felt inside the first time you saw yourself in in the full Elvis performance outfit. It was the most magical night of my life. It truly was. I, I this film has been a part of my life for three years now, and I I put the rest of my life on pause for two years while I was actually in the process of it, and. Uh, I, I I just gave it everything I had, so so suddenly now's the moment where I'm finally gonna see it for the first time, and it's in Cannes. I'd never been to Cannes before, uh, <laughs> and I purposely waited. I, I had an opportunity to watch the film before Cannes, but I said, you know, I think it's gonna be very special for me. Walking into the Palais, sitting down, the lights going down, and suddenly getting to watch this movie that's been such a huge part of my life, and and I'm really grateful that I waited because. Getting to experience the love of the audience in that moment and, and and feel the energy in that room of what they felt about the film, it was there was many moments that just brought tears to my eyes and uh, it was really special. Well deserved. Thank you. <laughs> what was the you know the hardest part or kind of personality trait to act out in this movie? It was it was the it's the fact that Elvis is is. Either revered as as an almost godlike figure, or he's this caricature Halloween costume, and so for me it was stripping all that away and 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 really getting down to his personality and his humanity, um, and uh, and that's that's a tricky thing because you want to be incredibly meticulous about the way that his voice changes over the years and and how his movements change over the years and um, how his singing voice uh, changes and. And so I would I would get incredibly specific and meticulous about those technical things, but if you just focus on those, then it's all external. And and so, it was always at the core to to have it come from his soul, and uh, and so that meant connecting myself on a very personal level to to everything in in his personality. And and some things at first they seem like they're far away, and then. When you start looking at them from different angles, you start realizing how you can turn up the volume of bits of your own personality, and and uh, and and that was really really a beautiful process for me of of those moments when I started to click into that humanity, and um, yeah, it was it was profound for me. And you did sing a little bit yourself, yeah. right? The parts that made it into the movie. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, so I, I wasn't a singer before, and and suddenly I'm. I'm, uh, you, you know, singing these iconic songs that one of the greatest singers of all time uh, performs. So, it was a lot of pressure and and a lot of responsibility. And so, from the very <laughs> outset, before I even met Baz, I started working with the singing coach five days a week, and and we would work together every day. And uh, and because I had to strengthen my voice, I really had to. But it's not just it's not just becoming a, a singer in general. It's it's finding all the vocal mannerisms that he had, and the way he would inflect notes, and um, and uh, and so yeah, it was an obsession. I, I just I listened to his music all day long, and uh, and uh, I, and then I would record myself singing and listen back, and <laughs> I'd go back and forth, and uh, so that was my process. But how did you work to kind of find out the, how how to move like Elvis? Because that's a, a very specific thing. Yeah, I, I I watched every bit of footage that was was out there, and um, and then I would I would break down uh, specific moments and and find and it's sort of like stringing it all together. Where it's it's I mean looking back, it, it's so monumental. Uh, and but you can only do one thing at a time. So I, I would sometimes I just focus on the way that he moved his hand in in a performance, or the way that he, he what his ankles were doing, or his knees, or and so I'd break down bits of his physicality, um, and uh, and then it always had to come from the inside. So some things may feel technical in the beginning, but I had to just do them a million times until they started to feel like my own, and. Um, and I had an incredible movement coach named Polly Bennett, who I'd found uh, because she'd worked with Rami Malek on Bohemian Rhapsody, and mm. and so I thankfully got her on board, and and uh, and we worked together every day, and and uh, some some days were technical days where she would teach me how to tap dance, 
just to get dexterity in my feet. Or we would do swing dancing because that's what people in that time would have been dancing. And so it was just kind of getting my body to be able to move in every which way. And, and um, yeah, it was a huge joy for me because I also wasn't a dancer before. I, I, was, I was a wallflower at a party. So uh, suddenly I'm, I'm out there on stage and uh, moving like Elvis. It was, it was unbelievable.